So I'm here with Ankit at, um, from Turnup yeah. um, here in Bangalore. Yeah. So Ankit, tell me, tell me a bit about your background. So um, I started this project uh, because of the college that I was going to. I was studying with Saurabh. And, and you studied design? Yeah, I was studying design. But it was graphic design yeah. initially, yeah. Right. I, it, it was initially graphic design. But the main reason why I picked graphic design is because I, w I knew it would be sort of easy and I would have my own time to sort of learn other skills or skills which I saw important. That's because I came from a background of audio engineering. So my dad and my elder brother and generally my family has been with audio right. always. So I, I had a little knowledge of like cables and like PCBs and soldering and yeah. basic electronic skills. And then the Arduino came along to... Uh, so the Arduino us. programming board, the, yeah. the, 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 the low cost computer. Yeah. 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 And that helped us prototype quite a bit and that like we, we could prototype different things and I sort of went mad with it and that that's that that's a good thing so that's that's why it's a good thing that I picked graphic design yeah so that's also an interest but it was easy to be able to do other things on the side okay so you've been working you guys started hacking together things at college yeah 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 so I mean it was different different projects it was very uh, I'm trying to think of an example to bring up. Um, one of the first things, uh, even before the Arduino, was messing around with the projector. So we took that apart and we figured out how to projection map right right around the time when it started becoming like a thing to be able to map in projection. Yeah. So um, the code to do that. Yeah was something that we figured out in Shishti. Yeah. And this went hand in hand with my graphic design yeah. knowledge. Yeah. So there's a bit of, I've always been interested with a bit of soldering, the bit of code, and the visual, overall visual aspect of the combination. Great. So you you guys were, were participated in a water water hackathon. Yeah, yeah. Which was that won the World Bank Water Hackathon. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what was that experience like? So that was the first time Sam was teaching yeah. in in Shristi, and um, I took his course and it was really interesting. And that's that's when I sort of first learned to code. And then he told uh, me and Saurabh about this hackathon. So Saurabh and me spoke, and we thought it's a good idea to go and do because we'll be able to hack, which is what we do generally in college. So it was it was a fun opportunity to go outside college and see what else there is, or what other application hacking has yeah. in, in in the outside. And yeah, the hackathon went well. I'm you know about the hackathon, so and it led it led led to where we are now. So yeah. what what if if you look at Caddis Flyers. Uh, as a prototype at the moment. Mm. I mean, what, wh which bits are you? Which bits are me? <laughs> um, I've been involved throughout the electronics, like the heating board, yeah. and previously the uh, the smaller version of the testing kit. Yeah. Um, the electronics for that again, yeah. and the circuitry. Yeah. And through and through, learning bits of code from. Yeah. Nestra and from other people. Yeah. So teaching myself code at the same time, but mainly I think the electronics and well the aesthetics also. There's a uh, um, like right now we've just sort of got a basic. And you, what well, you design these, the, the layouts, yeah. they look really good. I need to exact this for the rest of ACPO. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to help? <laughs> so it's the reagent, you put it in. Yeah. And then this is when you have to calibrate. Yeah. And um, and what these are? There's a sort of like, well, a, what instruction manual page? Yeah, it, it's a, it's supposed to be an instruction manual. Yeah. Page. Great. 
They look really nice, actually, those, yeah. Thanks. Okay, so, um, yeah, so what are you going to be working on? What are you working on at the moment and next? Right today? now, this, yep. and um, we keep taking turns between demoing the, uh, the whole thing because he wants to learn how to demo it better and I want to learn how to demo yeah. it better. So every time there's a demo, it's like, okay, you do it this time, next time I do it, and yeah. then we learn from each other yeah. that way. And I think right now, at this stage, is to get the back case done so that you have a standard way of like, either you have a standard form yeah. or you have a standard back case so yeah. that the image works fine. Yeah. So that's the trouble, that's the sort of hiccup we're having right now. So once so we get that done. Yeah, so and, and I'm going to you, you and Soab seem to have, it's quite a dynamic relationship because yeah. you're quite good kind of yeah. you you play off each other well yeah. in terms of all I this think, kind of thing i think that that always plays well because we studied together and we know what we each learned through study and yeah. now also and uh, sort of my interest in all of this led me to uh, go and pursue it at uh, cid in copenhagen yeah and you studied in copenhagen yeah for a while i studied there for what was that like i did my masters there. it was really good and it's sort of built it built up on this uh, hacker culture notion that I had from my undergraduate. Yeah. Uh, we were taught by people like the guy who made Rod Rodrino, uh, Massimo Banzi, yeah. and few others. So even the sort of skills that you learn, I learned there, is directly applied in the way we're making this here. So yeah. that's the main reason I broke away for a year. Yeah. to go there and study and now yeah. I'm back. Well, really good to meet you. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Yeah.